All right, so let's get into our game here. Uh, so when we last left off last week, uh, we pretty much, yeah, it's going to be the Lair of the Leviathan because we done did get swallowed by a Leviathan. And that was the cliffhanger we were left on. So let's get into this and see what happens. Uh, new game. Never so vulnerable. Hold on one second, let me turn my volume down. There we go. Must. Neither can we find our heart's desire. Guybrush Treepwood, trusting in his voodoo spell, unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue his wife Elaine and to find a cure to That's the what we're gonna see about. affects them both. On the Jerkbait Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch enemy Lechak. With deep reluctance, Guybrush trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. Hunted by the evil oh, more than there's a must right in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. Is there is blanket in. glassy? I suspect that he's deranged. For the pox is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. Fun times. And the beast is home. Welcome on in, readers. How are we doing, Goat Beard? I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Wait, not a problem. Best of luck buying that air conditioner. That is never, ever fun with that, I know that much. Sorry, I'm inside a manatee at the moment. <laughs> uh, behind you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Oh. <laughs> well, Tumter, walk the body bounty huntress right into a trap. You have to admire her stick to itiveness. She's out cold. Good. We need to get back on the track to finding La Esponja Grande. I'm gonna go find a way out of here, preferably through the front door, not the uh, <clears throat> service entrance. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on Miss Lafley. If she stirs, I'll give her the old scurvy buttons. I don't want to know what that is. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to either. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, ahoy, y'all! Uh, we got Hawk and Hawk in here. Uh, we got Minnie in here with some heckin' cute emotes. Oh, that's a lurking one. Vixie. Okay. Th those are some cute fox emotes. I love them. Oop, and hang on one second, y'all.
All right, sorry about that, y'all. So I don't know if, if any of y'all are in the United States or not, or which ones are or not. Uh, there's some nasty, nasty storms coming through, so it's gonna be maybe an interesting night with phone calls, but we're still gonna work through it and hopefully get through this. So anyway, um, so we are in a manatee, and what are we gonna? An encampment. Talk about roughing it. Better go check it out. Um, hello? Excuse me? What is this? An adventurer from the outside? Who, Who are, are you? you? I'm, I'm Guy Street Street Ford, de Cava, Mighty Pirate. Mighty Explorer. De Cava, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. You're not on your way anywhere. Heavens no! I'm not stuck! Quite the contrary! It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The mouth of the manatee leads me to the artifact. The seahorses led the mouth to me. Just as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Coronado de Cava, will walk out of this beast when the time is right. And what is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds. Oh boy. Interesting. You made a lock picking kit out of toenails? That's right! You didn't try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick? <laughs> That's for amateurs. <laughs> How long have you been in here? Years! This journey has been even longer than expected, but the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to be overcome. Interesting. So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh my. I haven't seen this locket for some years. She's just as I remember. Where did you... What is this? Freeport, it is I. Yikes. Well done. You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Esponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the park spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made the cover unstable. He was always a bit of a sensitive soul, so please, I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention La Esponja. And whatever you do, do not tell him where you acquired his locket. Where did you get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? I, um, I, uh, the voodoo lady gave me the locket and told me to find you so I could track down Las Esponja Grande for her so we could cure... She what? Me tío, that two-timing soothsaying strumpet! Huh? La Esponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion! I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picaron! No, no, it's not like that. <sighs> no way. We're hardly even friends. <laughs> right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket. I bet she never sends you on any quests, either. Uh, no. I mean, from time to time, she tells me what to do and where to go with little or no context, that but... sounds like a quest. <laughs> it does sound like a quest. Quests? I thought I was a special. Has she ever made you a voodoo doll? No. I don't believe you. Have you held her in your arms? What? No. I'm married. Look. I don't say a ring, senior Librash. Ah, I left it with my other hand. <laughs> I kill you. <laughs> I'm not after the voodoo lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. Honeymooning, in fact. With your invisible wife? My very real wife. Uh, let me just go get her. I shall await her alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. Hey, DeCava. Get away from me, or I'll kill you! You don't sail another man's ship simply because he left it in the harbor? <laughs> He's got a fair point there.
Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Dakava as my fake wife. <laughs> my, that reminds me of the time when... Now, Winslow, Dakava's crazy. Very well. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do as I say. First Morgan. things first. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist, Captain. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chuck Bender. Hmm. Excellent. She's alive and kicking. Interesting. Which reminds me. Next, remove any and all weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. No, we would not like that. Good thinking. All right, I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name. Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now, elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. All right. Elevating her feet. What's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? <laughs> All right, so Gus was free personal. Prince Hebelet. Lunch. Gideon. All payment to Nooney. <laughs> She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. 